Ken is the former Ohio Secretary of State, a former uh, transition team member, um, uh, team member, of course, a former Cincinnati mayor. But if you don't mind, Ken, I'd love to talk to you in the capacity as a Cincinnati Reds minority owner, because I'd, I'd be curious to see if there's been any impact on the part of fans on this move in, in your neck of the woods. Well, let me just start out by saying that my family has deep roots with Major League Baseball. My great uncle, D. Hart Hubbard, uh, was the founder of the Cincinnati Tigers and one of the founders of the American Negro Baseball League. And we had a very special relationship with the Cincinnati Reds. I am now a, a shareholder of, of, of the Reds. I think what has happened here is that Major League Baseball has had a history of leading by example, just like our military. The baseball commissioner got way out over his skis on, on, on this. He, in fact, condemned some common sense reforms that are pretty commonplace throughout other cities that house and are homes to the uh, uh, Major League Baseball teams. And, and, and he bought into the narrative uh, that these reforms were suppressive and repressive. And now what he's starting to realize was that he didn't do his homework. Uh, and he led baseball down, I think, a uh, hundred million dollar catastrophe that's spinning back and hurting the people uh, that he claimed that he was advocating um, on, on their behalf. So, look, I, I think I, I've never been a big believer in organized uh, uh, boycotts, uh, but there will be, I think, an economic price to pay for this. Uh, this hypocrisy, and, and that's that's unfortunate. Uh, the, the commissioner needs to claw back uh, some rational approach to this. Uh, there are those of us who have been working in this field for a long time, and what we've tried to do is to make sure that there is uh, easy access to the ballot box, uh, and so that it's easy to vote, but it's real hard to cheat. And those reforms in Georgia made it easier to vote and harder to cheat. That's pretty common sense. And now to call, to move, to move this All-Star game out of Georgia is to imply that the baseball fans of Georgia deserve that sort of punishment because they are you know, racist or at least uh, complicit uh, to racist legislation. That is just stupid. And well, baseball what are you can't seeing get stuck in on Cincinnati. Stupid. We had some anecdotal evidence that suggests not all parks are, uh, you know, obviously full capacity anyway with the virus, but that it's 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 it it could lead to a lot of people opting out of going to games, let alone watching them on TV. Uh, any evidence of that? Well, what, what, what I can tell you is that the Castellini family, which is the principal uh, ownership uh, of, of, of the Cincinnati Reds, has been engaged in this community and been on the, in the forefront of, of, of uh, making sure that our, our basic fundamental rights in this country are respected, and it's been a leader. So I, I actually think, through our community responsibility, uh, people will see that this was an overshoot by the uh, baseball commissioner, and they will judge us on how we interact uh, in, 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 this, in this community. Uh, but I can tell you, I, I've, I've gotten some blowback from fans basically saying, how could you guys let this happen? Well, uh, and so, you know, we'll, hmm. we'll work through it, uh, but I, I, am, I am shining a light on the hypocrisy myself. You know, I, 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 don't, I don't need to boycott. What I do need is to be a, a, a light on, 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 in this corner of darkness of Major League Baseball. This was just—this was an overshoot. Again, my uncle was the first black American to win an Olympic gold medal in track and field in an individual event. He won the gold medal in the mm. 1924 games. And when he came back—and he, he set the world record in the long jump, Neil—when he came back— to Cincinnati, he started, he expanded not whole baseball into the black communities of the city uh, and started the Cincinnati Tigers. Uh, and so we're all in with Major League Baseball, and I know the history of Major League Baseball of making sure, by example, 
that they show Americans the ideal of Americanism, and that is equality for all and equal opportunity. Very well put, Ken. I could not have said it better. Thank you very much, my friend. Good seeing you. Enjoy your summer. And uh, I really don't flip over the Reds, but I hope they have a good time because, you know, you're with them.